In order to create custom animated titles or use the custom animated titles created in the GT Title Designer, in vMix you will need to have vMix 4K or Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new title. Go to New and select the resolution that we're going to use. We use 1080 because that's what we're using today. So let's go ahead and create this title. What I'm going to do is create a rectangle to build my lower third. So I'm going to create an animated lower third today. I'm just going to go to Format to make sure I've got all this the right size. I'm going to enter my number here, click Enter, and make sure that it's an exact size because I like things to be kind of exact. Um, so I can drag this to the center to make sure that it's globally positioned in the center here, as you can see. I'm going to bring this up a bit because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle here and then a secondary rectangle that's going to pop out underneath um, as a transition in and then a transition out. So I've got that positioned uh, in the center where I want it to be. Now what I'm going to do is I could also right click on a line um, and set the center that way uh, by going here. Um, but now I'm going to edit the fill, so I don't want it to be bright red. So I'm going to click Edit Fill. I could also use the menus up the top here. Um, so I'm going to choose a color. Um, actually, I'm going to choose a gradient. So I'm going to choose a color first. So I'm going to work on that blue color. And then I'm going to go in this gradient here. So I'm going to select the second color of the gradient, make it a light blue. And then once you've selected your gradient, you click Apply. Now if you've worked with the gradients before, you know, you can select here and you can add different stops to add different colors to create nicer gradients. You can move these along or edit them manually. Um, click to, to remove. Um, and you can change the way that it looks as well. So once you've got your gradient, if you wanted to use a gradient, then click apply. I'm going to go OK down the bottom. So I have my gradient here set up for rectangle one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually change this. Um, I'm going to call this uh, blue rectangle. And so now we've got that named and that's that's almost good to go. So what I can do is go to effects now. I could skew it if I wanted to. You know, I could make it look a little bit cooler. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm actually going to go to the format tab and make it a rounded rectangle by changing the radius here. So I'm going to make these 40. That will put an angle on the edges. So as you can see now it's a rounded rectangle. Um, and I think that's about it that I want to do for this particular rectangle. So now I want to add some text. So I'm going to go to the text box. I'm going to create a text box in here. Now I'll right click this to make sure that it's centered as well. Uh, and let's go to the home and let's start making changes. So now I'm going to make changes to this text here. I'm going to center it. I'm going to make it in the middle. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to make it much larger and I'm going to change the fill color. So now I've got my text the way that I want it. So I'm actually just going to edit this text here with a cool name um, like Tim. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this name as well. So I know that when I go back to vMix, the name is where I, is the, the top layer here for where I've got Tim. Okay, so now I've got name and the rectangle. Now one of the things you'll you notice, like I can use this name here and I can make sure that it's in the center of the um, thing and I can line it up with this rectangle, but I can't actually center it in the rectangle. So what I want to do is I want to create a group so that I can center everything in the one group layer. So I'm going to hit Control or Shift and select both of these layers, right click and then go to Create Group. Now you notice that the group that's been created is now the size of the rectangle. So now I can maneuver everything within that rectangle properly. So I right click on this text now, Align, Align Center and then Align Middle. So that's actually just aligning it in the layer now. You'll notice that layer 1 is still the first layer that we had, which is the full canvas size, but now layer 2 is just within this particular um, layer with the rectangle and the text. Alright, so now I need to create a second um, rectangle. So I'm going to go back to layer 1 uh, and I'm going to select the rectangle and then I'm going to create a rectangle down here. Now you notice that the little title there has appeared, so I can choose to remove uh, this title just by clicking the, the eye here so I can't see it or I could have moved it to the top I can move the layer up so now this layer is kind of above this one now what I'm going to do is make sure that's in the center now that's a little bit outside of the safe area um, let's see what, how, what size it is we'll make this exactly 100 and we can align up so you notice that we've got the, the alignment there still with that other rectangle in the layer so I can actually make sure that that's connected properly um, and then it's aligned in the center as well. So it's got the align lock um, with the elements and also the global center. Now I want to change the color of this. 
So I'm just going to edit this. I'm going to make it the color of the bottom. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I'm going to make it white. That'll probably work best. Yep, so it'll match the color of the text. All right, so now I need to add some text to this one. So I'm here, going to create a text box like so. I'll align this in the global center, and then I'll go to work on this one. Um, what color? We can make it this. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Um, make it a bit bolder. Make sure it's in the center and middle. And um, there we go for the text. Now I can go ahead and change this text here. Um, so there I've got my title. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this text box to title so I know what that's going to be when I go to VMix. So I'm just going to label this rectangle as well to white rectangle. Ah, whoops. Alright, so now I've got these. Now I want to make sure that this text is also centered in this rectangle as well. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to right click and click create group. So you notice that now we have layer 3. We still have layer 1. We can probably move this down to the bottom. So now we have layer 1 which is the canvas and layer 3 is the, the max size of this particular um, these elements. So now I can click on the text and make sure that everything is aligned properly. So, the, so now it's in the middle of that um, area. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you try and add things like go to here and try and add a rectangle, you're not going to be able to. You're going to have to make sure that because this layer is now confined to this area, if you're going to add new content, you have to add it within this layer. So it's usually best to create the layer once you know you've got all of your content ready for that particular layer. So I can go back to layer 1 and because it's a the layer 1 is the full canvas size, I can go ahead and create more content here and then potentially create more layers that way as well. So I'm just going to delete all of this stuff. Okay, so now we have layer 2 and layer 3. So I'm going to name these. I'm going to call this name layer. And I'm going to call this um, title layer. And so now I've got my all of my layers ready to go for the uh, transition. All right, so now we need to work out what we want to do with these transitions and how we want it to look. So now I'm going to show you how to do animations on these transitions. So transition in and transition out. So what I really want to do is make this top rectangle appear with the text and then I want to make the bottom rectangle appear a little bit later on. So what I can do is actually set the layer to have its own transition. So if I just wanted to do the entire layer, for example, if I wanted to fade in uh, a layer, I can do that all together. So it's going to all of the elements will transition in together. So over here, you'll see this is the transition area for animation. So I can select transition in if that's what I want to work on. I've got the playback here. I've got um, pause, play, in and out. I've also got this on the right-hand side here. Uh, and I can also press the home key if I wanted to play everything in and out. So this is the animations board here. So we have a bunch of different transitions that you can use. So bounce will bounce in. Um, image sequences are for like PNG images. Uh, reveal will reveal something. Um, zoom fade, again, they kind of do what they're going to say. It will zoom in and fade at the same time. Expand will kind of expand the entire element out. Fade will do a normal fade. Fly in will move in from one of the angles you want it to, to use. Um, hidden will allow you to kind of remove something completely. Rotate will spin it around, um, scroll and zoom. So those are the different transitions. Probably best if you play around with to see what they all do. Now, basically, what I can do is for this whole layer here, I can set a transition for the whole layer. So I could select fade, and then over here, you'll see the timing. So I can choose how long it takes for it to start. So typically, if it's going to be the first transition, you want the delay to be zero. So when you hit that in button, this will be the first thing that happens. You can choose the duration. So I'm going to go 0.5, which is 0.5 of a second, and I can choose the style. So linear will be a smooth speed, cubic in and out, e um, Easing in, easing out. So easing in will go fast, it will fast, and then it will go to a normal speed. Easing out will go slow and then speed up, uh, and bounce in and bounce out will do those bounce transition effects. Okay, so what I'm going to do basically is just fade in the name layer one when I transition in. So I'm going to hit the button here, and that's going to, as you can see, transition everything in together. Now I could do the same with the title layer underneath. I could maybe do this. Um, I can do this as a fade as well. I can add a bit of a delay to it. So the first one took ha 